Ugo Gaita, a Kawane Laki ring in Chagas. I'm beginning to think how is he going to deal with that reach advantage and that height advantage? As I born again, class seven, get up a fana, massic niggas, a pagum party take away to not Australia and whatever fana, Bangana Janina. Good evening to Melang Sanbornani. We are coming to you live from Tumahule, Paris. And tonight, the first of our two WBF title fights. This for the WBF welterweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome first to the ring, the challenger, Ali, the silent assassin, Lumbembe. Ali Numbembe mshagazi i milo ya ke i tabela mashuma ma binane sine double uh, the total number of fights is gabongani mwalase. Oh yes, a man who was born in Oshakati, Namibia, resident in Derbyshire in the United Kingdom. Ali Numbembe. Ali Numbembe knocked out in round number six in 2006 June by uh, Ajose Olusegun, as well as finding himself on the canvas again against Craig Watson in December last year, but has had two fights since then and uh, was uh, successful on both. Let's take it back to our ring announcer for the introduction of Bongani Mwalas. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring the champion, Bongani Cyclones Mwalase. I know that my colleagues back at the studio have already announced that uh, Mwelaza, if he wins tonight, he still doesn't walk away with the title. He lost it at the way in yesterday. Well, yes, he lost it on the scale. And uh, if he wins tonight, the title becomes vacant. But if Numbembe becomes the champion, he wins tonight, he becomes the champion. We'll explain that to you as we go on. As we await Mwelase taking a walk, a long walk, Coming to you live from the hour hall in a Paris on the banks of the Val River. I hope Wong Animalasa knows he's in for a fight tonight. That's it, then the moment we've been waiting for. Let's take you back to our ring announcer for the formal introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment I will ask all of you to rise for the singing of the two national anthems starting first with the namibian national anthem and then the south african national anthem
Jumelang, Abshemi, Sanbonani, good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, you watching SABC Sport, blow by blow. For the love of the game, Rob's promotions in association with the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, Free State Province, bring you this title fight for the WBF welterweight title. This bout is sanctioned by the WBF and in attendance at ringside, the president of the WBF, Mick Krauter. And our fight supervisor this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Howard Goldberg, our timekeeper, Nzolisi Mabuya, our ringside doctors, Dr. Dennis Kakanelo, and Dr. Sibeba Sibeho. And introducing your ringside judges from East London, Ellen Matekami, from Cape Town, Eddie Marshall, also from Cape Town, Rasi Erasmus. And the referee in charge of this contest from KwaZulu Natal, Dara Ribi. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from the Arva Hall, Tumahule, Paris, the Battle of the Giants on SABC Sport, blow by blow. Introducing the boxer, he will answer the bell from the blue, blue corner. He wears the white, black, and gold trunks. His official weight coming into this contest, 66.36 kilograms. His record as a boxer, 21 wins, three losses, and one draw. And seven of those wins coming via knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the former Commonwealth champion, the current WBA Pan-African champion from Bendu, Namibia. Ladies and gentlemen, Ali, the silent assassin, Numbembe. And his opponent will answer the bell from the red corner. He wears white, yellow, and black trunks. His weight coming into the contest, 69.9 kilograms. His record as a boxer, 12 wins, 11 of those wins coming via knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the former South African welterweight champion, the former WBC international champion, the 2007 prospect of the year, and the current WBF welterweight champion from Soweto, South Africa, introducing Polani Cyclone Muelase. You have to be very good talk, okay? I want you to listen to me at all times. You keep your punches up, okay? Go to shake hands, go to the corner. Best of luck to both of you. May the best man win. Good luck. Well, first of all, I must say somebody did a bad, did some bad measurements. Oh, yeah. at the two boxes. That's what I was saying. And I saying. noticed uh, Muelase is taller than his opponent. Yes, the numbers were, t the numbers were telling us that the Namibian was uh, taller, that the Namibian had a, a reach advantage as well. But when we're looking at the two boxers in the ring right now, Mwalasa, definitely the taller of the two. Well, yeah, there's no doubt as uh, Ali Numbembe already has thrown through first blood in this fight as Mwalasa concentrates on that jab. Slap him with the jab and we'll also for now just probably trying to oh yeah that's that's that shows the experience now Mulasa drops a right jab and he gets a counter right uh, from uh, 
Ali Mbembe, it shows you Ali knows his positioning already. He knows what he's going to, to be doing here tonight. Ali through big punches already, this Mbembe. A man who was born in Oshakati in Namibia, resident in Derbyshire in the United Kingdom. One thing that you cannot deny is the punching power, the devastating punching power of Bongani Mwalasa. And we'll see if Numbamba can withstand that for 12 rounds. Mwalasa well, made three visits to the scale before the fight. And still, he came in. I went to confirm that with Howard Goldberg, the fight supervisor. Still came in here, 18, gra 18 grams overweight. Good defensive movements from uh, Mwalasa in round one, keeping that left hand up because he can see there's a counter straight hand, straight right coming up from uh, Ali Numbembe for every punch that he chose. Mwalasa trying to double up on the jab and check us when he probably doesn't really have to. Well, he yes, and I think he's fighting a much stronger man. Mwalasa is known for good movement in the ring, but surely. He's fighting somebody who looks to me like the rock of Gibraltar. <laughs> because his time he throws the right. punch, he shakes my lasso. Bang Mubana Bafan and Tegas against Log of Long Jigelo Wokala. A very partisan crowd here. Uh, free State. A cyclone can count on some home support tonight. But it's very alert, I must say. Well, yeah, so one thing for sure, he's that kind of boxer. He's a sensational boxer. Keep him up. Nearly went down there. Great. Great. Well, Lasse trying to connect with the right hook, and I think that's one of his favorite punches. The straight left didn't do much damage. See again, James, like as young at it. Welcome back to ringside here as we away the start of round number two. Well, I also did catch his man with a few punches there. Well, has only been to round 12 once in his career. And we'll see what's going to happen tonight. Well, he's got a huge disadvantage on his side. Fighting a man who's come into the weight, that should not be a disadvantage for him if he knows how to box. And Mwalasa knows how to box. Mwalasa connected with two right hooks at the end, right at the end of round one. And uh, those did stagger Ali Numbembe. So I think he's already tasted Bongani Mwalasa's punching power. Malaza really trying to impose himself on this fight. Malaza come to get him to get him to manage a city charge of fire. And big punches from Malaza. Really wants to make up for what could happen towards the end of this round. Showing no mercy for his man. Bongani Mwalasa. Ubete a right hook on a pan. Let me check as well. I pause. I yell and a better a left hook. He's got to be careful. Numbembe is still very alert. Doesn't seem particularly perturbed. And Mwalasa really throws those punches hard. in fighting mood, Mwalasa. If good punches in this, the second round of a 12 rounder. Well over a minute left in round number two. He's driven into the corner. Uppercut on the inside from Nombebe. That jab lands, another ball. Big punches from Nombebe, chasing his man around the ring. Well, that 
the uppercut, just get there too easily. It's a straight right in Klegas. That is proving to be a problem for Bongani Mualasa here in round, particularly the oh, last. to the jaw. He's already tired. He's driven backward to the ropes. Bongani Mualasa not pacing himself. Well, he's already tired now, you can see. A man from Oshakati, right at the you can't do northern that, tip Stop. of Namibia as we come to the end of round two. Welcome back to Ringside. We've seen a dev some devastating punching in the first two rounds. The biggest problem was there. That's where the problem started. Bogani Mwalasi throws a right hook from outside, misses with it, and then gets countered by a left hook. I think it would know not to throw short punches from the outside. Bogani Mwalasi's last fight against Villarreal. He won that very easily by TKO in the first round. And here, he seems to have met his match. Good punches from Mwalasa. Mbembe fighting behind that jab. Mwalasa, seven sides, and Galoza can see in the upper column. Gumlo, yeah, it's a better strong. We are in sec. I know about the shield. You could have to go about this. I try to post some full. I am a ninety. The other thing is that Mwalasa not really, not really turning anti-clockwise in this fight, moving towards the right hand. That's why he's getting caught in Klagas by, by the right hand. He's moving towards it, but uh, let's just observe what's going to happen. Let him I go. By now, Molasa right. knows what he's doing. Get back. Referee Derek, Daryl Ribbing. Durban. William Hart okay. has been shouting instructions from outside, wanting Molasa to box. That's one of the things he said at the end of l last round. Use your head. If he misses, he's got to get away, out of the way. One of the things Ali Numbembe has been doing very well is he's been able to cut the corners. You see now, that direction there is what Mwalasa needs. Stunning right hook from Mwalasa. Quick hands. He is very alert, but Numbembe presenting a lot of problems. Good fight from Mwalasa, this in terms of experience, Mr. Gaz. No, yeah, so it gives him a lot of experience. He's able to take it and really use his experience. And really, if the fight goes the distance, it helps him. He's got to learn. Right, stop. Not even the break, okay, you heard me. Stop. Well, Lasse, blood dripping from his nose. Numbebe came into the ring with two belts. One is the Commonwealth welterweight belt, what you won. And the second is the WBO Intercontinental Belt. Malase won the South African title right. and the WBC Stop International Stop title against Lucky Liwele. And dropping the WBC title since then, he hasn't had what looked like a good fight. Stop. As we come to the end of round three. Welcome back to ringside as we await the start of round number four. Let's see what happened in that last round. Yes, uh, look at that. The Mwalasa takes a straight right but delivers a right hook of his own as well and changes direction. What could be a problem for Numbembe is the fact that when he throws that punch, he brings his whole body with him. As a result, Mwelase is able to counter punch. Right what I've noticed corner. in Flagas and Dobana Mwelase, I was saying, is moving clockwise stop, stop. against a right-handed boxer. Probably, oh, should, drive the corner probably should be That's moving right. anti-clockwise in order to offer angles. But 
I noticed that he, he's looking for an opportunity to drop a straight a straight left in front of him um, which I think is probably easy for him to do when he's moving that direction but we also do know left-handers don't really throw punches moving towards their own <laughs> left foot <laughs> well, let's pick him up in round number four share your foot 12 let him go. Let him go. No combinations. Every punch that Molas is throwing is a power punch, and I'm wondering about that. Well, he's decided to stay on his bicycle. But he is flat footed. Break! Break! The dodge go away. Onumbembe, what we know in WBL intercoordinator. I met out David Barnes. A Bremley for Sulokshire. Rasen Gilan. Winner a Commonwealth. British Empire title. We went to wait as well. No Kevin Anderson. We lost in Gilan. A Lancashire. Let him go. Good punches of counter punching there very well and well answered. You see, like as well as is reaching out with the straight left uh, because he's not opening up an opportunity for it, not japping, not closing the distance enough for it to really be effective when he throws it. Right now, reaching with it, and is the reason is getting countered because that sometimes, right. most of the time, when he throws it. Uh, we are poor, Sangayo. Don Leo, eh, Yenzo, and the one, no member. I beg and you are better straight right. No member, boy, so much support. But I'm going to sing a song. Go up there. Well, I'll say, I'll be saying, 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 I'll We've seen a lot of people. Oh, big punch! Salam Lonye, Nikumuela, say, Bella Kudumbembe. No, Mamuela, say. A cow lazy up from a person for men as a stronger. Break! Timing now, you're a young laugh. Take a look at that. Mwalasa is trying to steal a straight left. When he tries to go for it again, you see, that's what happens. Those two straight rights, Mwalasa not able to deal with them because he's disengaging straight instead of offering angles. Agam Jiking is closer. So that's what he should be doing. Look at that. I mean, he's completely stationary. That's why a straight right is just finding its own target. They take a look at that again. This is amazing. Why is he not moving anti-clockwise, which would really help his cause in the fight? We are Pumelela Apa in Chinga. We share Apa Rangini. Kuba Kayazanga wait. Ugene Apa and Obunsimobolish Milis Pozo. Let Grams Mapezu. Obunsimob Snekayo. Can't you back up Pumelele all in Numbebe? All in Numbebe. Who's about Jacques? Step back. Step back. I want you to step back.
looking to counter punch Nambembe because although he was caught there, he's very alert. Drives and will lost the back. Hey, hey, stop, stop, come here, come here. The, the thing come is here. that Nambembe is not hurting, sir. A team fight, and last break, must be boxing you break, you stop punching. If he's looking to win. Box on. Well, I'm not sure what the referee was saying there. Because this crowd here is making some noise. This is the answer. You see right there, there's an opportunity. Let him come in, look to drop a right, rather a left uppercut. <laughs> but instead, right. it's it's almost as though Mtegazimuelasi yeah. is not too sure what Thank decision you, to take. Uh, let's see what is going to happen here. He scored in this round at the fee of those punches. And punches from Welasa on the retreat. Ali Nambembe, Mr. Gazo, is the best man in the man in the city of Manito. Break! Break! Don't hit! Stop! Elan Simbi, you are pale on Chigelo. Western. It's John Gamaka, but she's all on Chigelo. Well, I said. But round number five, another challenging round for Bongani Mwalasi. Although he looks good here, it's just the kind of things that he's doing in the ring. He's getting hurt by punches that should never be able to find him if he was fighting a smart fight. When you, when you move, when you move in that way, just follow up your jab, follow up the jab and go in the right way. Don't, don't relax, man. You have 15 enough to fight for 12 rounds. That guy, he just fight for one minute. Really? Yeah. 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 Bobby M. Chigelo always turned on to... Chigelo always turned on to go through. Well, I say, who's crazy? Let go, Chigelo. Stand up, so good. Let's stand up, come on, go. That's what Molasin needs to do. Completely nullify Alino Mbembe's direction. This is unbelievable. I mean, we've always thought Molasin is a smart boxing fellas, right? Well, uh, yes, we did, but uh, surely one of the other things is slow down a bit. This is definitely a tough fight for Bongan Mwalasa. He's never had anything like this before. It's almost as though he's counting on one of those haymakers to land. Good <coughs> right. movement from Mwalasa. Yes, definitely. The one thing for sure that I picked up from Numbembe, he seems a little bit square for me and he becomes easy target because of that. Break. He has a huge Get body. Back. And what he is supposed to do is to wear his man down. Oh, oh. 
caught there with some good fight. Good punches, Merlot. Oh! Stop! Oh! Stop! Merlot is just okay. leading with his face. Stop! It's round number six. even in the right position in that corner. Stop! 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 Okay, what you doing here? Oh. <coughs> Break! And Wallace is holding more than anything else in this round. That's 16 seconds in left in uh, round number six. Look at him, Benji's corner. Wallace's corner is telling him they want speed from him. We'll see what his interpretation of that is. That's his problem, Shagazi. <coughs> Moving towards his opponent's right hand. And that is Wallace's problem in this fight. Positioning. It's uh he's gonna have to go back go back to gym. You do that again, it'll cost you a point, you understand? Don't do that. Be a clean fight. Come on. Well, oh, Mbembe showing the speed in this fight. In this round. Look at Nambembe's movement. You were saying he squirms, but his movement, if you look at where his front left foot is, oh. Bongani Molas' most difficult fight, this. 
Take a look at that. It's the right hook. That's the damage punch. The right hook. And then Walasa went for the kill. And one of the B was the accuracy with which Walasa threw those punches. We apologize if you could hear that, but don't go away. We'll bring you the results right after this. Welcome back to Ringside. A steal to sign for Upper. Coming out of this in this round, put the matter beyond doubt and drop his man. And uh, if you look at Numbembe, he seems to have accepted the decision because he did not complain, went over and hugged Melasse and congratulated him. And let's check it, our ring announcer in the ring, Sipo Masheko. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the two boxers. <laughs> Referee Darrell Ribbing puts a halt to the proceedings. Two minutes, 22 seconds in round number seven. And your winner via TKO, Bongani Cycles. Muelase! Muelase! Well, the celebrations here are not going to and stop for a long time. And for Ali Numbembe. As Ali Numbembe makes his way to congratulate Muelase, he walks across to the opposition's corner to congratulate them. And as he wins this fight here tonight, it means very little for it means a lot for him because he has picked up against all odds this no doubt was his toughest fight and he showed all our boxers that he has the heart as we take you to dixon muller who's standing with uh, the champion but not the champion uh, Tough fight indeed here yeah, for Bongani Mwalasi tonight, and I'm sure that uh, there are quite a few lessons he takes out of it. Bongani, tough fight, Baba. Honestly, it was. Huh? It was a tough fight. Mm. Can't complain. It was a good test, end of the year. And uh, finally, I had to put practice, everything that I've practiced in the gym, and just to, like, show the people how much I've grown, you know. And I think tonight, they've seen that a bit of it. You, you talk about what you practice at the gym, and take us through the fact that in this fight you were getting hit by a straight a straight right moving clockwise against a right-handed boxer presenting your face in front of in front of uh, your opponent was that part of what you practice at the gym uh, that one was one thing that i picked up from here which i've learned that his right hand was not that effective so it was one of those punches that was going to drop my face in and just drive away with the punch and be able to draw a hook it was one of those tricks in boxing when you said this. Last, last point I want to debate with you is uh -huh. moving in that direction. Okay, you're finding at the same time that you're dropping a straight, a straight left from too far. Yeah. You're missing with it and getting countered. Is that smart? Uh, one thing that I've learned on that uh, was one thing that I've done. I know usually every orthodox that I box is gonna move anti-clockwise and automatically they try to close my right my right foot and immediately they do that i'm not able to draw my chair perfectly so i was giving my space enough room to draw it but i didn't counter attack because i didn't step in in this time because i was more comfortable in fighting from a distance and drawing my punch from far away which while i was getting caught by punching which i didn't realize on a certain cool. stage all right clearly it worked for you but you lost your title although you won here tonight any comment about that? Uh, I think it's one thing that I've learned the tonight. No, it's one thing that I want to say to the people, you know, is that I'm not the first and definitely not the last. But one thing I'm going to do from now on right, is, is to come back the second time and do the same way, welterweight, and prove to the people that I can do it and I can still roll on this division and beat them all whoever comes on this way. All right, congratulations.